Okay, so the next thing to do is to get this shape of yours um, by itself. So all I did was take the little eyeball off of my design. Um, you can trash that later if you want to. But once you've done that, um, you need to move it, and we need to make it bigger, and we need to get it in the center. So the first thing you're going to do is to find the center. If you hit Control R on the keyboard, you do that like once or twice. You can see um, on the screen how the rulers show up and disappear. Okay, we need to create guidelines that will um, show us exactly where the center is of our paper. So you're going to do that by grabbing at the top here and dragging down and setting the guideline at the halfway point. And then you're going to do the same thing from the left, grab and drag the guideline to the halfway point. At that point, once you have the center, okay, you can make your, if you have the move tool and the transform controls on, you can make your shape bigger or smaller. You don't want it too big. Okay? You only want it to be about half of like one quadrant here. We want it to be about one quadrant wide. Um, but I want to be able to have a little black um, around the outside of, of it as well. So you can make it pretty big. But don't make it so big that it sticks out from the workspace. Um, and you also want to move it so that one of the points or one of the parts of your design is right at that center point. Um, so you can move right in, set it up the best you can, but you're really going to have to zoom in and just make sure that's lined up correctly. Because okay? the last thing you want is for it to be offset because you looked at it far away. So line it up nicely. And then you're going to move the target. The target is that little center square on your shape down to that center point as well. And this will require you to zoom in, to make sure that it's lined up correctly. Otherwise, if it's not lined up correctly, it's not gonna look as nice. So zoom in and zoom out. Um, once you have that target set up, that's the point that says you're gonna rotate this whole shape around that point. So um, at that point, you can rotate it, and you want to rotate it up vertically like this. Now, it can be completely straight up and down if you want. Um, I'm going to make it at a little bit of an angle just for interest. Um, once you're happy, hit Enter on the keyboard, and you've set it up. We've set up rulers. We've set up guidelines. We've made our shape larger, set it up with the center, and rotated it up by taking this little target, putting it at that center point, and rotating it to vertical okay also if you haven't already done so make sure that you have no stroke and some sort of red fill okay